In this video, I want, I want to go over the replace with alphabet position on code wars. And what I want you to do is, in this kata, you are required to, given a string, replace every letter with its position in the alphabet. If anything in the text isn't a letter, ignore it and don't return it. Now, let's look at the example that it gives us. So this is the function and this is the string that it passes us. What it wants us to do is to take every single letter in this string and replace it with its position in the alphabet. So T's position in the alphabet is 20. H's position in the alphabet is 8, E's position in the alphabet is 5, and so on and so forth. This string that it passes us, they are not limited to just letters of the alphabet. There will be uppercase letters, there will be lowercase letters. Sometimes there will be integers jumbled into this string, uh, punctuation marks, periods. We need to ignore those, okay? And that's very simple to do, but I'm just letting you know now. So when I add some code that ignores those special characters, you're not asking why I'm doing that. Okay, so the first thing I want to do is we're going to solve this problem. We're going to use Unicode values. Um, Unicode values are basically integers that represent numbers, and I will explain more in a minute. But for now, just know that the Unicode values for uppercase letters, say A, and lowercase letters of the same letter are different. The Unicode values are different. So what I'm going to do to make them the same since the position in the alphabet of an uppercase A and a lowercase A are the same, I'm just going to make every letter in the alphabet lower. So we're just going to say text is equal to text.lower. And I'll elaborate more on this in a minute. Next, we're going to create a string, and this is the string we're going to return at the end. This is going to hold every position of the alphabet of the st string text that it gives us here. So we're just going to create a string, and we're going to set it equal to an empty string. Next, we need to iterate throughout our text string right here. So I'm going to do just that for i in text. From here, we only want to perform these this logic if and only if the character in question is a letter of the alphabet. And there's a simple function that will allow us to do that. We can just say if i that is alpha. And then we will only perform it here. So what is alpha function does is it returns true if the character in question, in this case, I, or the particular character that we are on, is a letter of the alphabet. If it is a one or a two or a period, it will return false and the code within this if statement will not execute. Okay, so what we're going to do from here is we are going to, this is where we start using the Unicode values, and I'll elaborate more on it in a minute, but we're going to say string plus equals um, ORD I minus 96, and I'll explain to you why we're doing this, and then I'm going to convert this into a string because we need to append this to our string here, and you cannot concatenate uh, integers to string, so we have to convert it to a string. Now this is what this is doing. What we are doing, if I pull this up right here, as you can see, I printed out all the ASCII values for uppercase letters as well as, or for lowercase letters as well as uppercase letters. As you can see, for uppercase letters, A through Z is 65 through 90 respectively. However, on the other hand, lowercase letters for A through Z is 97 through 122. Well, how do we get the position in the alphabet from our ASCII value? Well, what's the position for A? A is the position in the alphabet is 1. Well, what happens if we subtract 96? That'll give us 1. What happens if we subtract 96 from B's Unicode value? Well, it'll give us 2. So all we need to do is subtract 96 from it. But if we didn't do text.lower here, what would happen is we would have to subtract a different number, in this case 64, from uppercase letters. However, the position in the alphabet for uppercase letters and lowercase letters are the same. So in order to make our code more simple, I just converted all the letters to lowercase and then just subtract 96 from it. So that's what that, that does. And uh, ORD, that ORD function, what it does is it converts the character into its ASCII uh, code value, or its Unicode value. So say ORDI, say I is A, 
that would return 97. Then we subtract 96 from it. That would give us one or the position in the alphabet. We would then convert one into a string so that we could append it to our string here. Now, if you look down here, uh, once we append the uh, position, or once we concatenate the position in the alphabet to our string, it needs to be followed with white space. It doesn't need to be like jumbled up together. So the way we can do this is we can just say string plus equals uh, a space. So what this is going to do is it's going to append the position in the alphabet to or concatenate the position in our alphabet to a string. And then we're going to right after that append or concatenate white space to it. Next, what we're going to do is we are going to just return the string return because after we've iterated throughout every single letter in our string and we've appended the position in the alphabet and then white space after it, we can return it. However, if you look down here, uh, on the last iteration of this for loop, we're going to uh, concatenate um, white space to the end of it. So what it'll look like is the very last position will have uh, a space at it. So I can just show you. So if I test it, we're going to probably fail a lot of these. Yeah. So this string right here, you see there's this white space at the end, should equal exactly what we have, but with no white space at the end. We can fix this by just returning string dot r strip. And what this does is this will strip off any white space at the end of our string. So if we now test it, pass three, let's attempt it. Yeah, so that is the replace with alphabet position problem on Code Wars. I hope that you found this video valuable and you learned something. If you did, I would appreciate it if you liked, commented, and subscribed. And I will see you guys in future tutorials.